This is a story about a donkey. A very simple donkey. A very small donkey. But God used this donkey to do something very big and important. Now, I will need your help to, um, tell, to tell the story. I need all of you to be the Israelite camp. Can you do that? Yeah. You are called Israelites because you are the sons and daughters of a man named Israel. You are a camp because you are camped out in the desert and far away from home. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, in Old Testament days, there was a camp for people, the Israelites. Now, has anyone ever heard of a man named Moses? Yes. Yes. He's the guy that went to Egypt and said to the Pharaoh, let my people go. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and in search of the promised land. Now these same people, the Israelite camp, had been moving around the desert for many years. They settled their camp one time in the plains of Moab. Now, when you think of the camp, how many people do you suppose there were? A billion! When Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, there was more than 600,000 men. Then you will add the women and the children and the cows and the donkeys and all the suitcases. And that's what really we can. Let's see how Bulak, the ruler of this area, feels about that. I am Bulak, ruler of this land. What are all these people doing here? Shoot, shoot, get out of here. What are you doing here? You've come to take over my land. Shoot, shoot. Where's my messenger? Messenger? Here I am. What's the matter? These people are here to take over my land. Look. Whoa, that's a lot of people. What are they doing here? I don't know, but they've come here to take over land. we got to get rid of them. Shoot, shoot. What do you want me to do about them? I don't know. Just get rid of them. Well, I do know this one guy who can take care of this situation. If you know what I mean. Who is he and how quickly can he get in here? His name is Balaam. We can get him to curse the Israelites. Then we can defeat them. Very, very well. Go on. So Balaam sent his messenger to get Balaam to come back with him and curse the Israelites. Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Yes, who is it? I am a messenger sent by Balak. The Israelites have camped near our city, and we are afraid they will attack and take our land. Balak wants you to came, come back with me and curse them. Um, <laughs> let me see what God wants me to do. So that night, Balaam slept, and God said to him, Balaam, huh? What? Balaam, you're supposed to be asleep. This is a dream sequence. No. Oh, okay. Bala, do not go with them. Do not curse. Do not put curse on the Israelites because I have blessed them. That's what you will. Just so all of you know. The next morning, Balaam told the messenger he would not go with him. Are you ready to go, Balaam? Well, I don't think I'm going to go back with you. You see, God doesn't really want me to do this curse thing on the Israelites. So, I think I'm going to have to pass. Ah, oh, shucks. I'm going to be in so much trouble. So, the messenger returned and reported, reported the news to Balak. 
Well, what do you mean he's, he's not, he won't come? He has to. These people are everywhere. Well, he did seem like he was kind of sitting on the fence about it. Maybe if you offered him some money, he'd come. Fine, whatever. Give him 100 pounds of gold. Give him whatever he wants. Just get him here quickly. Okay. So the messenger returned to Balaam to ask him again. Balaam, I have returned. The king Balak said to give you a hundred pounds of gold if you come back with me to curse the Israelites. Wow, a hundred pounds? Hmm, I don't know. Big bag of cold, a little tiny curse. Wow, a hundred pounds? Hmm, well, okay. Yeah. So Balaam saddled up his donkey and left. God was not happy when this happened. Now we have all these Israelites camped out here by Moab. God has told Balaam not to curse the Israelites, but he is going back with the messenger. God needed Balaam to listen to him. So here is where the little donkey enters the story. Balaam was riding his donkey to Moab, and along the way, an angel appeared. Balaam didn't see the angel, but boy did the donkey. The donkey was frightened and ran away, and Balaam fell off.
So the moral of the story is to follow his steps. Who should... Balak takes... Um, Balak takes Balaam to the mountains to curse the Israelites. But instead, every mountain they went, Balaam continued to bless them, instead of cursing them, like King Balak has said. So the moral of the story is to follow in his steps. Thank you.